Welcome to the video tutorial about how to set your preferences in project settings in eSurvey water distribution software. In this video, you will learn how to configure various project settings before designing the formation levels for the water distribution network. The following settings should be done before doing the design. In main menu, click settings and provide the settings. You may note that you can configure all the settings related to this project in this window. In the basic settings tab, you need to set the following parameters. In default drawing scale LS, set the horizontal and vertical scale of the longitudinal section. In datum precision, datum is automatically calculated for sections depending on precision. Example, if you set datum precision as 2, the datum may be 90 for a given set of values and it will be 90.60 for the same set of values if the precision is 0 0.20. Next, you can do section settings. In section interval, set the chain age interval of all the alignments in plan and profile. In chain age precision, the plan chain age value decimal precision can be set. Decimal precision can be set in elevation precision for interpolated elevation in plan. Using profile split value, you can split a lengthy profile to multiple drawings for printing purpose. In shift datum to by, set the gap between ground profile and AGL profile. In plan dimensions and turning blocks, you can do various settings in relation to plan dimension and turning blocks. Similarly, in profile dimensions and turning blocks, you can do various settings in relation to profile dimension and turning block. In the process settings tab, you need to provide parameters for process settings to design the formation like minimum cover and maximum cover, default pipe length, pipe type, pipe material, pipe dyer, deflection limit and quantity calculation settings. If you don't want to consider the pipe thickness, then select the checkbox Don't consider thickness from table option. In pipe settings window, click the triple dotted button next to default pipe type drop down to navigate to bend angle and pipe type window. You need to define various types of pipes pipe material used in the project and its details like allowable deflections limit for all pipe diameters and bend details if there is a standard bend in the given pipe type and pipe thickness. Bend details tab in bend angles and pipe type window shows the available standard bends in the selected material. In allowable deflections tab, you can list allowable deflection limit for the pipe based on standards defined by the manufacturer. In pipe thickness tab, you can define various pipe thicknesses and their internal and external dia. In LS layer settings tab, you need to provide details for LS layers. Select each layer in the LS layers grid and enter settings for visible captions text height, text orientation, and remark orientation. You can choose line color, line type, text width, font name and color, row height, decimals, gradient type, and value at chain age. If you want to edit settings of multiple layers at once, you can do it in bulk layer edit group. If you want to select all layers at once and edit the settings, check the box Select all and select the option and enter its value. Click apply to apply the settings. To set layer order in the drawing, click the order button and in the window that opens, select a printable layer and click up or down to move the layers to the desired order. You can select the required fonts by clicking the fonts button and choosing the desired fonts in the fonts window. To apply default settings, Click the Apply Defaults button. In Section Display LS tab, you need to provide details for Section Header Settings, Section Footer Settings, Graph, Interpolate Values at, 
Also, you can send dimension precision round off and chain edges display with thousand separator. In section header settings, you can specify display text and scale above the section profile. Similarly, in the section footer settings, you can specify display text and scale below the section profile. In graph, you can set create grid lines from the datum line. In interpolate valves at Tick any checkbox and the chain age in the respective profile will be displayed. For example, if you select the nodes, then all nodes available in the alignment will be displayed with chain ages and with all the respective values. Section captions. Here, you can provide captions for various elements of the section LS like header, header scale, footer, footer scale, datum, row headings, area text, remark, index and dimension. You can also format the captions by providing font, height, width and color. In the crossing settings tab, you need to create a list of profile blocks for various crossing types to be displayed in the longitudinal section. In crossing types group, enter crossing type, description and select the profile block drawing from the saved location. Click Save to save the settings. Please note that all the blocks are to be created in AutoCAD version 2000 or earlier and ensure that the drawing is created with the respective insertion point is at 0, 0 in the drawing. Ensure that units are set to unit less values in the drawing while creating blocks. In Value Setting tab, you need to define all valve blocks which you want to insert in the plan and profile like air valve, scour valve and insulate valve etc. It is to be noted that these settings are considered while designing and drafting in the interface unless otherwise modified or specified in the individual settings. In plan setting tab, you can provide settings for the plan. Select the layer and enter settings for visible color, text height, width, font and line type. Enter section settings like prefix, suffix, thousand separator, distance from alignment and check the box if you want to display GL along with chain H. Click save to save the plan settings. In other settings tab you can provide other LS settings and general settings in the respective group. Enter row header width, height of remark row, interior line and index line in general group enter projection line type and color leader remark wrap and check the box if you need to show the leader remark in layer color please note that you need not do all the settings for each new water network project you do if you set your commonly used values in default settings window when you create a new project you need to change only the settings which are specific to the new project. Thank you for watching this video. In this video, you have learned how to set your preferences in project settings in eSurvey water distribution software. In the next video, you will learn how to do interpolation and junction analysis.